were talking about Morphebians. What are Morphebians? Yes, we look at Joker. Today we're going to review the Morphebians remote control car. The Morphebians is a remote control car that supposedly can go on water it, and it could go on a rough terrain. So I have my little buddy here to help me. So this, is, this is what the Morphebians look like. Uh, 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 we have two actually. This one is the green one. Is it an alligator or a crocodile? Oh, so you can see here at the front, it has the, it has the teeth. It has four wheels, and I'll show you how those wheels work. And in the back here, you have the on and off switch. This one takes the 27 megahertz uh, frequency. So the green one here is at, so the green one here is 250, 27 megahertz. And the blue one is at 49 megahertz. So when you buy, if you if you plan to buy two of these, you have to look at the the frequency of the of the remote control. Uh, I'll have I'll have information about which cars go with which frequency. I'm going to show you how to open the Morphedians, the remote control car. The remote control takes two AA batteries. Uh, no, two triple A batteries. The car takes three. Double A battery. So uh, these ones are rechargeables because I always have rechargeables for all the all the toys. So first we turn it off. So there's a little on, on top of the on top of the car. There's a little s screw here. I use a, just a general screwdriver to open it. Okay, there you go. And we open it. There should be a cover here, but you know there should be a cover here, but I. Don't know where it is, and now we are just going to put the batteries in the standard batteries. Okay, and then we we put the cover back on, so it's a, it's pretty simple. And then screw it back on. Uh, likewise, we can use a screwdriver here to open the remote control, and here, don't know if you can see that, but uh, here you can see that there's a two AAA batteries. And now I'm just going to put it back. The controls on the Morphebians is a bit different than from any other remote control car. Instead of a forward, backwards, left, right, you have a two that goes uh, front and back. And the idea is that the left one controls the left wheels and the right one controls the right wheel. So this is what happens if you only press one of them. It turns into left. And if you press the other one, what happens? Yeah, press that one. Yeah, and it goes, it, it turns into, into the left. How do you go to get it to go straight? You press, you press both at the same time, and it goes pretty straight there. It's pretty, pretty strong, if, depending on the batteries, but you can go on rocks, and I go on the rocks. So if, if the battery is pretty full, oh, there you go. Oh, okay, so it's stuck. What's the benefit of having a uh, play with remote control? One of the benefits is of course that uh, hand-eye coordination. You can look where you're going, try to control it. Where is it? Okay. Remote control also changes your spatial ability. That is your ability to uh, to see, to manipulate things in 2D and 3D space. So especially with this one because you have a left and, and, and right button. Another benefit of the remote controls is that you can play together. So you can have the kids be creative and create their own obstacle course or, or, or racing track. So we're going to do a simple racing track here. It's just going to be the two cars have to go around uh, the two pots here and go back here for the finish line. Okay, ready, set, go! So the other thing about the Morphebians, the Morphebians is that it can, it supposedly can go into water, so it actually does float. It it flows, you can see. So uh, we, we're gonna let, oh look at that! It's moving in the water. Isn't that cool? Yeah, it's a submarine. It's a submarine, you think? Yeah. So it can go forward and backwards. So if you have a pond or 
uh, uh, you have access to a, a lake or something, this, this would be a really cool toy to, to play there. Unfortunately, it's too cold for us to go down to the lake. So we're not going to do it, we're just going to do it in the bathtub. It's not going to be as fast as if you do it in, in land, but it's okay, it's pretty fun. And it is a bit back heavy, so the, the, the back part sank more than the front part. Well, thank you for watching. See you next time. See you next time. And go bye-bye. Uh, it's dry. Don't forget to subscribe. subscribe.